Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial we will learn the backend for frontend design pattern for microservices. I'll explain what is backend for frontend design pattern, where to use it, what are the advantages of this design pattern. I'll also give you real world examples of this design pattern. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. It is going to be very very exciting and informative tutorial for you. There is lot to learn from this video. Friends, in the previous tutorial, I discussed about the access token design pattern. Can you explain what is access token design pattern all about? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. He has an agenda. Friends, here is the agenda of this video. I'll give you introduction of backend for frontend design pattern. Then I'll explain you the real world examples of this design pattern. Then I'll explain where to use this design pattern. What are the use cases of this design pattern? In which scenario we should be using backend for frontend design pattern? So we'll understand that. Then I'll explain you the benefits of backend for frontend design pattern. At the end, I'll summarize what we learn in this tutorial. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. It is going to be very very exciting tutorial today. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern, and design principles. cloud and container technologies but i'm not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you okay friends so now let's start with the backend for frontend design pattern for microservices backend for frontend is a microservice design pattern to handle the complexity of client server communication where we have multiple user interfaces or different types of front ends this pattern suggests to have separate back end service for each front end to handle the specific needs of that interface this pattern allowed developers to optimize the data flow caching and authentication mechanism as per the need of the front end for example suppose you have a web application and a mobile application that need to access the same set of services In this case you can create separate backend services for each application that is optimized for the specific platform this pattern give flexibility of larger and faster data loading in the web application while the low latency and optimal network usage for the mobile application this pattern optimize the user experience for each interface type by using the separate backend service for them This pattern avoid having a single backend service that serve many different interfaces with different needs that become complex and hard to maintain. Backend for frontend design pattern is a variant of API gateway design pattern, but it also provide an additional layer between the microservices and each client type separately. This pattern introduces the multiple gateway for separate client type instead of single entry point for all. So let's understand this with an example what is backend for frontend design pattern if you see on your screen the left hand side diagram is the traditional way of microservice where same service is serving all the different frontend technologies frontend clients like mobile and web right and as the application evolve as the microservices evolve and more and more frontend specific requirements keep coming in the services become complex and difficult to maintain right friends hence we go for back end for front end design pattern on your right hand side where we have a bff layer mobile back end for front end layer and web back end for front end layer in between the front end technology and the microservices right friends so having this layer provide us flexibility and full control on the data flow and the type of data we want to send it to the front end technology this layer also help us in 
preventing the unwanted or sensitive data going to the respective front end right friends so it is a type of api gateway design pattern but it also has an additional purpose of filtering out the information which is required specific to front end client right friends oh wow that is really that's amazing now let's understand this pattern with a real world example using backend for front end we can extract the important data and convert them to a better format like json it creates endpoint dedicated to specific app or screen types or a feature that data required by them in this example we can see that we have mobile bff layer to handle the request separately for the android and ios devices also web is running on a legacy api hence give flexibility to modify this api separately for the mobile and web app client right friends on the left hand side what you see is the mobile backend for front end layer but on the right hand side we have backend for front end layer for mobile as well as web hence we get full control and flexibility to modify our apis and customize the output for the and screen types and front ends if you see in this example we have shown where we have a generic microservices with a, with a single api gateway single entry point as the application grow then it is difficult to maintain the requirement for different front end types hence we have a solution back end for front end on your right hand side where we have different back end for front end layer between the microservices and the front end technology we have mobile bff we have desktop bff and we have third party bff this layer can control the amount of data the kind of data which can flow to the respective front end or clients right with me really now let's understand this pattern with another example in this example we are showing that bff layer between the legacy api and different clients allow green and yellow part to be extracted separately from the legacy api for the different mobile app screen right so not just between the different interfaces or different channels we can have a bff layer back end for front end layer for different screen types in a mobile channel itself in mobile channel right we have a tablet and different screen types where we can optimize our output as per the screen types so we can go as modular as, as we want to have the bff layer separate bff layer for different screen types and devices right having the bff layer separate for mobile and web is one thing but we can also have a bff layer for different screen types and devices in a mobile channel as well right friends that give us a complete flexibility and control for individual screen types and devices what the hell are you talking about now if you see in this example we have a three different bff layer one is for the web one is for mobile and one is for the external third party we can control the amount of data the kind of data and the format as per the client type as per the front end type different bff layer can give you a data in a different format and we can customize what information we want to reveal to a different clients using bff layer we improve the performance and user experience by fetching the information which is required and relevant for that interface hence the performance of the application also improves wow. okay friends so now let's understand what are the use cases of this design pattern where to use it how to use this design pattern in our project so use this design pattern to achieve faster time to market as the front end team can have a dedicated back end team serving their unique requirements like this we can achieve the faster time to market use this pattern to achieve flexibility and dedicated control for each interface type the release of new features of one front end type does not affect the other interface use this pattern to allow us to modify manage maintain apis of different interfaces separately 
without interfering with other interfaces. Use this pattern to hide unwanted and sensitive data before sending it back to the respective front-end clients. Use this pattern to improve performance and having less logic in your front-end side. That logic you can bring into the BFF layer for specific to front-end clients. Right, friends? What? I can, I, I do, I do not understand. Now let's understand some advantages and benefits of this design patterns. This pattern helps us in achieving the faster time to market. This pattern provides the flexibility and dedicated control for each interface type. This pattern allows us to modify and manage, maintain APIs for different interface separately. This pattern can hide unwanted or sensitive data before sending it to the respective frontend. This pattern improves the performance, having less logic in the front-end side. Right, friends? Wow! That's amazing! Okay, friends, so now let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today. I gave you introduction of backend for front-end design pattern. What is backend for front-end design pattern? Why do we need it? Then I'll explain this design pattern with the real-world example. I gave you multiple examples how and when to use it what is the application of this design pattern then i explained you the use cases of this design pattern how and where can you use this design pattern in your project then we understood the benefits of this design pattern what are advantages we get out of this design pattern so friends let me know if you have already used this design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Right, friends? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk. All right? Friends, in the next video, I will cover what is microservice chassis design pattern. I'll explain you what is microservice chassis design pattern, where to use it, what are the advantages of microservice chassis design pattern. I will give you the real world example of microservice chassis design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and Keep watching Code One Digest. If you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to our channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners, and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.